Hello and welcome everybody back to the League of Uncharted Warfare with Stronghold Crusader HD. Kebab lot here and well we managed to churn through all the original release AIs and now we are going for Frederick. Actually one of my absolute favorite enemies especially now in his improved version because of the original he is well wasting so much potential. Because he has bugs, he has a low recruitment speed, his defense is lackluster. Despite him actually using a very effective combination of troops consisting of swordsmen, crossbowmen and archers, so actually quite heavy, and uh, having quite good economic data, which was ruined by mostly ha building half of his buildings outside the castle, increasing the walking distance and stuff like that. So, now in combination with the unofficial crusader patch, which fixes his bugs, makes him use the market more efficiently and so on, and with a stronger castle design, he can actually be the second strongest AI in the game. He can easily beat Salahadin or, the Lion, or, or Richard the Lionheart, and the only enemy he really has issues with is the wolf. Um, but it also strongly depends on the castle he's building. For example, if he's building his biggest castles, meaning he's very slow at the beginning, he can fall victim to Richard and maybe some of the easy AIs. But once he has built up, he can become a really powerful enemy. To show that, I, um, I deleted all ARV files of him that are, considering, uh, that are consisting small castles so that we can see his biggest castle that I have designed for him yet. Meaning we will have a lot of time at the beginning, but we can also see his true potential. Game so, finished. let's go and see what is going to happen. Game running. I can already tell you that is going to be interesting. And I am finally able to use crossbowmen again for my defense. And it will be necessary against the amount of swordsmen that he will be uh, that he will be using in the field your popularity is falling yeah fuck my popularity seriously i don't need to be popular i just need to kill people So, I might have already done a mistake in constructing my castle. I can't believe it. Uh, stupid me. Oh well. um, nothing that we can't handle, though. And again, we have a lot of time available. Also, his economy, uh, his, uh, Frederick's economy is strong because he's also uh, using beer to Not be more popular. He uses religion. Theory. He uses everything that is nice. But yeah. It might take a little eternity. So... One... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's the area we are placing. Our little hovels. Well, that might actually work. So, and there we can see he will produce beer. Six, 
six, seven, eight, because we are also using the, uh, the dairy, far uh, dairy farms for, well, producing leather armor. Frederick taking your sweet time. Also, he's using gorilla tactics with knights, and you know how much I love knights. Oh, do you? Have you seen that already? No, we didn't actually, because we did not fight against Philip yet. That is going to be the next fight after this. Oh, I hate myself so much for that. Because Philip is truly a pain in the neck. Yeah, of the next European AI is right. Frederick, Philip, and uh, Anne Marshall, they're all using Gorilla tactics with knights. Ah, uh, that is going to be annoying. Especially for Marshall and Philip, they have so weak defenses. As you can see, this castle is going to be big. And why? Because I produce push it again. Originally I wanted it to line up here, but I made some heavy mistake. And before rebuilding the entire thing, I'm just going to build a bigger castle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Stone needed. No change in the treasury, Lord. Can't place that there, my lord. One, two, three, four, five. And there we can see his castle is going to be huge. In general, I um I got inspired by the Emperor and Stronghold Crusader too, with the castles of Frederick. That means round with big kill boxes and lots of towers. But of course, there are smaller castle, uh, more, smaller versions of Frederick's castles available because well, he needs to also function on small maps and should have a chance against rushing AIs, but yeah, if he gets uh, together with a strong economic AI, like for example Saladin... Then he will be very vulnerable in the early game, but... Later scale up so quickly. And you sh use Yeah, by now you should have noticed in general that I am focusing a lot on the scale uh, scalability with the unofficial crusader patch meaning better giving them a stronger economy so that they can easier and quicker attack with like 1000 units yeah here you can see the little fuck up i created with a gate but and also that is something that doesn't really cause trouble because now it gets well better defended
So, Frederick is already having eight castles, starting with a weapon production. Okay, then. I produced here the next fuck up. And that is why I usually don't build castles. I just out eco the enemy and crush them. Or as my boyfriend also has noticed one day, I barely even build walls. Because walls of units can be moved. <laughs> Place that there, my lord. I am going to need all the crossbow men I can muster. Because the onslaught of the Emperor will be strong. Especially when he starts with his you are the second greatest lord. Bullying attacks. Five, six. You need something built. Manning siege equipment. But at least Frederick is uh, not so totally overdoing it with siege engines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that works. Okay, good. Goody, 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 goody. Um, but here something does not work. Okay. The keep is enclosed. Mangonel ready. Exiting sir. siege equipment. What needs doing? Location noted. This device requires decommissioning. Skilled engineers, my lord. The keep is enclosed. So, now that works. Your Grace, 
Our tools are ready. Manning siege equipment. Setting up now. Manning siege equipment. Shot! Pachin! Shot! Quick! Mangonel ready, sire. Well, time's up as it Finding seems. Finding range. Mangonel ready, sire. Finding range. Mangonel ready, sire. Finding range. And he's not even halfway finished with his castle. Message from Emperor Frederick. History is in the air. Watch as it unfolds before you. This building has no name inside. Can't place that there, my lord. Second greatest lord. So, and usually Frederick would have thicker walls, but I'm not mimicking his style here right now, especially since I'm. <laughs> Totally not able to go for a round castle without the help of external software. Of course that one mansion is hitting our own towers. Of course. There, there you can see. Frederick has two walls. Ten houses, so stronger economy than Richard. Yeah, women standing in the way again. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Message from Emperor Frederick. The siege is lost, but the war is far from over. Yeah, you have such a nice German accent. It's way stronger than mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. I will put some of them in the back for defending my economy against enemy knights as soon as he's starting using that. Oh, there we see the gate kill box. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So, time to prepare the alcohol. Because everybody loves alcohol. Use in this game. Oh uh, yeah, soon the citadel is being finished. 
And I personally think that the Citadel is a very fitting name to what we are witnessing here. Just see the amount of crossbowmen that he is leading into a field. Ready, sir. Fall in. We are under may be the second greatest, but I am the more intelligent it's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Also, I made Frederick build his stables last so that he doesn't use guerrilla tactics that early. At least with a big castle. With a small castle, he's still doing that. Now I can see he's building here the stables. And yeah, the castle is soon to be uh, completed. He is now going to, uh, to dig the moats. And there he's coming. Building some light decorations, but nothing that will is going to have a major impact. There, yeah, that's Frederick's castle. I will turn this into a religious state. Ready, sir. Oh, Fall we killed one of our ready. own. What a surprise. Ready, How about you don't shoot at all? Jump to it. Ready, shot, sir. Forward, shoulder. There comes his next attack. Morning, your lordship. 
Okay, now it's time to make our people happy. We will have a dancing bear in front of a keep a so that my king always has something to laugh at and some happy children. Who I placed completely wrong. And in the meantime, Frederick is attacking us again. But as you can see, he's also using his crossbow man. Quite the offensive manner. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Jump to it. It's a route. We stand ready. Recruits needed, sire. Weapons needed, sire. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's a route. You are the greatest lord. Well, with that economy, I might even want to increase the amount of breweries that we have. That works. Because thanks to the positive fear factor, we are going to produce only half as much. We are under attack. We salute you. Forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So Frederick is also using archers, but I'm not going to do that because I can't be arsed. And there you also see the two rows of moat that he is digging. And I did not close it here because the stables need to be accessible, otherwise he's simply going to demolish them and rebuild them and each time it costs 400 gold and that will cripple his economy to doom. So I'm totally not doing that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Everything gets better with some gardens. Now we also got here some gardens. And time to get the beer. To half a rage of the rations. Otherwise we might get into trouble. We are under attack. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We stand ready. Quick march. We are losing a the little people money. Worship you, sire. Gold is flowing into the treasury, sire. The people worship you, sire. So religion is also halfway stable. That's good. A day. One, two, three, Shop. four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now come on, give us another leather armor. We stand ready, sire. One, two, three, four, five. And now we have all our defensive units that we need for the entire game. Yeah, we are now a bit more powerful than Frederick because we have money and more soldiers. As you can see, his economy is also doing quite well, and he has already more than uh, more units than are allowed in the original game. And you can see his defenses. He may not have many soldiers on there. But it's quite even defense. A message from Emperor Frederick. Today we fight. Today it's a route. Oh yeah, will you win? That's interesting. The army doesn't look like that. Because well, it looks like it's pretty much dying. It's a route.
Oh yeah, isn't that a sweet little castle we have here? A message from Emperor Frederick. The siege is lost, but the war is far from over. That is true, because you are not dead yet. But that is something that is going to. That is also something that I would be looking for. Open diplomacy that you can actually switch teams uh, among the eyes uh, in the middle of a game, depending on how many gifts you make them and so on. So that also human players would actually hope that VI would betray enemies and stuff like that. There's so much you can do with such a system. I mean, Supreme Commander has already proven it. I just re I'm just remembering all the fun we had with Sergio back then. That was so good. We produced over 100 videos together. With open diplomacy, for those who don't know, that is actually how the league got together. Back when we were still a group, and this was not a solo show here. We stand ready. So now I just need to recruit an army. That might take some time. Weapons needed, sire. Feel the power. Yeah, and with this normal castle scaling up would simply take so much. A message from Emperor Frederick. Time for action is upon us. My army marches. Oh shit. Those are quite many trebuchets! Oh, and they got destroyed now. But yeah, my strategy to kill him is going to be super simple. Have like 500 swordsmen and go through the kill box. I know that most of my units will die on their way. Wait, you destroy something. Probably an apple orchard or something like that. So the two modes are now also completed. Ah, Frederick. What fun! And two Fredericks together is actually a very strong team combination because they both send out their knights for annoying the enemy. And they scale up quite quickly, so in late game they also can be dangerous because of the units that they are using. I just wish there would be more AIs that use pikemen, because pikemen are so versatile. And in the original Frederick has severe issues with modes due to, aside from the archers, having no units who can get rid of them. So against an enemy like Venita or the wolf, Frederick was not able to do anything. That is also one of the reasons I redesigned all the AI castles in a way that there is always at least a tower or a gatehouse or a piece of wall open and accessible so that uh, enemies who cannot take care of moats don't have any errors. Message from Emperor Frederick. Remove from strength to strength. Do you? I think I didn't lose anything. Unless it's you just destroyed any woodcutters, but it doesn't seem like it. Weapons need We stand it, ready! Ready. Weapons, needed. Weapons needed, sire. 
it's a route. And maybe I will manage to get enough crossbow man to overcome his defenses here. And again, what did he destroy? I mean, it's not like his knights are coming far. It's a route. We stand ready. Weapons needed, sire. Oh yeah, and I gave Frederick a slight bonus here on positive fear effect that gives you a little bit more punch. Because his economy is now definitely strong enough. And we have no aim to make him completely overpowered, so there's that. Feel the power. So, soon his next attack should launch, right? It's a route. Oh, there they come. 367 soldiers, okay. Including his defense and patrols, of course, so probably 150 who attack me. 150 to 200. A message from Emperor Frederick. Today we fight. Today you will win. It's a route. It's a route. Well, clothing is overrated. We stand ready. We stand ready. My lord. We stand ready. He might actually be strong enough to launch a counter attack once he is uh, attacking us. Commander, sire. Ready, sir. I live to serve you. Please, love the taxes, lordship. I need to clothe my children. Uh, typical British humor. Women voiced by man. Monty Python style. Proud of Frederick's castles. I just think they look great and menacing. As I said, he also has smaller ones, but they also all have a circle shape and a moat around them and a kill box directly in front of the keep. As I said, heavily inspired by the Emperor in uh, Stronghold Crusader 2. Because it just, it just works. The AI in Crusader 2 might be total bullshit because it cheats. But some castle designs actually were quite good. 
I also really enjoyed the princess. And the sultana. But some other designs were simply weird. Why are you focusing on the swordsman when there's a trebuchet is to destroy? Jump to it! It's a rout. Your command? A message from Emperor Frick. We are prepared. Come at us. You will fail. Will I? I mean, most your defense is gone. Looks tired. Time for a new stratagem. Okay, he's retreating. I attacked too early. But there are enough crossbow men alive to weaken his melee forces. And there you can see all the killing pits. We stand run them through. My lord, eat steel. A message from Emperor Frederick. My castle crumbles. Okay, but next my gate. Does not. You will not distract me so easily. Oh, I'm not distracting you. I'm going to kill you, we my friend. Each steel. We stand ready. This is too easy. My lord Salzman! A command of run them through! I live to eat serve. steel! So, we were able to destroy his melee forces. Your command? This is too easy. A message from Emperor Frederick. Your troops fall before the Imperial Army. Give it up. Can't you see? You are lost. You don't have enough units to stop me now, Frederick. Come on, the A message from Emperor Frederick. Your troops fall before the Imperial Army. Give it up. Can't you see? You are lost. So, this is the day the Empire loses its Emperor. Victorious <sighs> sire. Okay, so that was a rather long fight. As we can see, Frederick in nearly all regards except Iron he was leading. More money. Well, I got more food, but more wood, more stone, more weapons. Oh well, yeah, that was Frederick, the new Frederick. As you can see, quite deadly, quite annoying, quite strong. So in BI fight, I'm really interested in seeing how he will perform against other AIs. I've seen so far that he can easily get rid of AIs that in the normal game would simply have beaten him. So yeah, he basically turned into a top tier AI, like the Sheriff did, but that is something I'm going to show you in one of the future episodes. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If yes, please consider a thumbs up as a positive feedback for me. If you have any feedback on the castle or in general or any suggestions, then just type it down in the comments. I will make sure to read it all. And you'll, well, in case you want to communicate directly with me or other people, you may join our community Discord, for which you'll find an invitation link in the video description down below. And yeah, if you want to get notified whenever something new is uploaded, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that notifications are activated. And with that, I say goodbye and see you next time in Strong Crusader HD. Bye bye.